Okay friends, it's time to get started on our ignition cylinder. Looking at this, you can tell that I've already taken apart the plastic housing that covers this area. You do not need to take it apart. I only took it apart so you can clearly see exactly what's going on. Now I'll push this up into its original position. Looking at the lower clamshell here, you're gonna find that you have a small hole that goes up inside this area. It does not have any mounting screws inside of it. To easily remove this, you can do that using a small pick. Come straight up inside this hole. Deep inside there, there's gonna be a little ball that you can go ahead and push in on. And then you can grab onto this and give it a little wiggle and carefully pull it out and away. So I have everything out of the way so you can have a clear view. I'll come up through that plastic hole right to where the ignition cylinder is gonna be located. There's a small hole with a ball in there. I'm gonna go ahead and press on that with a pick. You can feel the ignition cylinder start to release from the steering column. Give it a wiggle and go ahead and remove it. There it is, friends. Okay, friends, now it's gonna be time to install your ignition cylinder. Something that I need to mention is it's a good idea to make sure you have a locksmith or even the dealer recode the key so it'll function properly. All you need to do is take the ignition cylinder and have it so the little bobble or the ball is facing down. So when it goes in, it'll lock into position. Go ahead and twist that around a little bit, press it in. Go ahead and try to tug it out of there. We wanna make sure it's completely locked. You don't want it falling out while you're driving down the road. Go ahead and turn the key and make sure it functions properly. Thanks for watching.